Hello everyone, welcome by a Mario Kart Tour guide video. So that's a, a guide video specifically targeted at the Mario Kart Halloween Tour. So, first off, I've been seeing a lot of complaints about people that Mario Kart Tour is too expensive, it's a stupid game, it's a, a crappy game whatever I've been uh, hearing a lot of negativity like uh, come on let's be honest it's a fun game right that's all what matters at first um, about the prices um, yes yes the store is expensive I mean Luigi pack 22 euros I mean come on pretty expensive but You'll be guaranteed to get Luigi, you'll be guaranteed to get the rubies, etc. So there's that incentive if you like that. I'm not one of them, but it's there. I mean, some people will buy it. I mean, if they want to, if, if they want to buy it, that's up to them. Um, if you don't want to buy it, you don't have to. That's the point. Uh, same goes for all those rubies. Uh, if you can see, I already have um, 29 rubies right there, and that would have a value of over 14 euros. I did not spend any euro so far, and uh, I've bought like 30 pipe launches, so um, that's like over 100 rubies over 50 euros so yeah I'm not going to spend that much money to get what I've been getting so far and it's not really that bad really um, I mean it's a new character a fancy character 3000 uh, gold is very doable um, you can uh, always go to gold rush that'll net you about 700 gold pieces for 5 rubies I could do that uh, a couple times, get enough money for both characters probably, or in this in this case a character and a vehicle. So it's it's very reachable without paying. That is, that's the point. Um, looking at other things, uh, getting drivers is very important. I've been pretty fortunate to get a couple drivers early. So there are a couple levels um, where I need specific uh, drivers like Daisy. I ha I don't have her yet, but there's a good chance I'll have a level two driver, you know. So always go for the maximum amount of drivers. Check the shop daily. Uh, you can often buy a character for say 800. I could buy one right now. He'll be level two. I mean that's not uh, too bad. I can do that two times, two characters, uh, even characters I don't have yet to help me complete cups. Um, the gold pass, also very uh, negative. I do have the gold pass, as you can see I've completed most of my challenges. Uh, of course there are new two challenges, previous ones were completed. so. Uh, there are a couple ones uh, like this one. I'll be using this in this coming tour. I uh, could not use it in the previous tour. Uh, already unlocked every uh, every cup. There are waiting times before you can continue the tour. I have three, uh, three of those tickets. So I can uh, skip uh, the waiting time three times. Um, level threes take like five times the same Card driver and that, that kind of stuff so you know gotta gotta really invest into a single driver I'm trying to get every driver possible as you know a step one so that you can uh, you know maybe not this cup maybe next cup but you'll have um, you'll have the driver for a level 3 bonus during that cup or that road that challenge so it'll definitely definitely help. Same goes for cards. Collect as many as possible. It'll help you. 
uh, level them up as high as possible right now so they'll help you in the future for future mobs so even if you don't complete a cup completely at tour um, it's not the end of the world you'll still be leveling your drivers your carts your gliders daily and if you do that that's like um, 20 minutes a day I'm having great fun with this game so it's it's easy peasy I'll be leveling my drivers every day and uh, trying to get as far in the tour as possible so going back to the gold pass um, the reason you would need the gold pass is for all these presents you'll get all these extra bonuses like driver skill up and that kind of stuff and every bit counts so say there's um, there's this um, of course those are locked let's go to an unlocked uh, one all the way at the beginning so say I don't have one of these characters like this one I could save up right now he's purchasable from the store for two uh, three thousand so I'll need to, I will need to save up uh, I might get three three stars four stars right now later when I have the character unlocked or the vehicle that it needs you'll revisit it and try to get five stars to unlock another present another cup that kind of stuff so without further ado um, no wait gold pass so the gold pass is five dollars a month and that sounds very overpriced compared to things like Apple premium but considering some people spend like ten dollars twenty dollars on for example a legendary chest in the Elder Scrolls blade I mean you get one legendary item I believe maybe two uh, leaving four of your equipment pieces completely you know normal you'll want those other pieces you'll buy another chest you'll have spent fifty dollars for you know fancy items and you know that's that's very expensive or like ten dollars for a statue in your town it doesn't even net you XP or something like it's like a tiny grain of XP that those things give it's it's really useless in my opinion like sure aesthetics count for some people and that's the same here like uh, they never told you that you need to finish every cup we want to finish uh, uh, the cup we want to get to uh, we want the, the, the rewards you know that's our greed the game does give a lot of different mobs a lot of different challenges many updates like this world tour so for those po uh, those people who would spend like 10 20 dollars um, myself perhaps included uh, I've taken the trial at this moment uh, I'm in the middle of the trial I used a week of the trial to complete the previous tour and I'll be abusing in a way this trial to unlock all those extra presents in this tour as well like uh, the extra gems and that kind of stuff those add up and the five dollars um, of the gold pass will net you if you play a lot that is the all those rewards will net you like maybe 50 to 100 of those rubies so if you do the math a gold pass is pretty pretty cheap you know i mean those prices are a bit crazy but a lot of games do that i mean the old schools blades gives like one statue for 10 bucks in this game you'll be getting 23 rubies it might be enough to launch 10 times I mean if I buy uh, for 10 bucks I'll have enough for 10 launches I believe <coughs> you know round it out 14 bucks 23 that's uh, 52 so we'll have seven more than what we actually would have needed so I could buy 10 launches good chance there's a good character perhaps King Boo or similar great I've gotten uh, the Mario Arcana for a simple $5 purchase 
Like, uh, you should wait until you have 45 so you get that one character bonus. Saves a bit. But this one, uh, it, it costed me, like, literally 8 rubies. So, you know, if you do the math, if you do the math, it's not really too expensive for the gold trial. I'll be, um, or the gold pass actually. The trial is free for two weeks. I'll be canceling it at November 1st. And until then, I'll uh, I'll try to play daily. Uh, also, try to take a character that you can level. Uh, that might include all the characters in a lower grade because we only need to complete the cup once right now. So I'll be <laughs> actually doing the cup right now. Um, there are probably a, a few more uh, things uh, in the guide kind of way to cover. Uh, I'll try to complete uh, the tour as much as possible in one single run, including the skips and that kind of stuff. Um, like, uh, like I said, uh, tr um, try to uh, use the trial uh, when you feel um, you can complete the unlock the world tour. Like, um, Yeah, like uh, when I complete a few tours, there will be a moment where there's struggle to get like three, four, and five stars, you know, because you don't have the right character, the right card, and that kind of stuff. And you'll visit earlier stages, try to complete those again, and reach for more stars, etc., until you have enough points. Um, yeah, the thing is. Um, the gold trial helped me that little bit further. I used the gems or the rubies uh, to get the, a few more characters. Those characters helped me a bit. And uh, I played Gold Rush like two times. That's like uh, 1400. So for 10 rubies, I could buy the Boo character. I could use it here and probably in a lot of other uh, levels. So that might be a plan. However, it'll change every day, so... But yeah, the gold trial, uh, in my case, and probably and hopefully in your case too, will be used in two tours, so that's a lot of uh, extra stuff. So I don't, I don't think uh, this free-to-play game is overpriced. Like, I spent zero dollars, a lot of fun, a lot of hours, you know, actual hours that I played. Um, in this case, I want uh, a another vehicle at 300 points for the challenge and the same goes for the glider <coughs> so uh, yeah I just want first place and many points at this moment I just want to complete the tour try to unlock as much as possible uh, especially the characters you know that's uh, the fun factor uh, some characters have special abilities and special abilities, you know, can be fun. And of course, as with every Mario Kart game, there's a bit of luck, like that uh, mushroom. I uh, kind of, you know, I kind of aimed for it at the very, very last second, like how much actual input did I had on that uh, lucky mushroom. But always been the case in Mario Kart and what isn't the case is corners like these I uh, I was a little bit disoriented like believe me I have played every single Mario Kart out there uh, Mario Kart DS for example is a great Mario Kart and it's actually the one that really introduced me to drifting and competing with ghosts because of a friend of me uh, by the name of Tony Tenrio. Yeah, he does uh, PUBG playthroughs. You should uh, check him out if you're into PUBG. <coughs> Tony Tenrio. Tony Tenrio, it's uh, spelled just like uh, you would spell chicken. Like C H uh, Y C K E 1. Chicken. That's how you. Uh, that's how you spell Tony Tenryo. But uh, he's into PUBG. 
perhaps uh, he does he does uh, play Mario Kart, so perhaps you know, perhaps uh, a Mario Kart with commentary from uh, Tony Tenrio on uh, the Tony Tenrio YouTube channel soon. <laughs> I mean, I hope he's uh, he's watching. You'll never know. Anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, I've played uh, every other Mario Kart so far. You could say I'm a fan. Maybe a fanboy. I mean, uh, yeah, I really like Nintendo. And uh, I've had a history with PlayStation, Xbox, less or so with Sega. And uh, yeah, like every Mario Kart, it's, it's always a party, you know? And uh, unfortunately, there's no multiplayer yet, but it's coming. I mean, uh, let's be honest, it's it's a very playable single player state right now. It's free to play, graphics look amazing and graphics sell, you know. Everyone always wants the great powerhouse graphics. So, there you go. It's uh, looking crystal clear, HD and everything. It, uh, it has basic online functionality, I mean it's free to play and uh, you know, family safety and all that kind of stuff. It's a company thing and you gotta respect that. But actual gameplay, I mean I'm having fun. I'm having fun right now, uh, actually taking a break from game development myself. So uh, yeah. I'm absolutely inspired by Mario Kart. Uh, I won't be, you know, uh, going to rip Mario Kart off. I'm not going to do a kart racer. But I am working on a race game right now. It's Drift King 2D. Multiple content about Drift King 2D on my Twitter, on my YouTube channel. Everything at the Lowland link. So uh, if you're interested in my own game development stuff, Go have a look. Uh, I'll be trying to do uh, more commentary in the coming future, including uh, some game development uh, um, devlogs. It's uh, you know, it's also good for myself uh, if I look back on those videos like two years from now, ten years from now. My channel has already. Uh, it's already like uh, 13 years old, 12 years old, no 13, it's from 2006, so, oh no, I won't be uh, getting first place, but that's fine. I'm sure I have enough points, they're uh, really mild at the beginning, so, like I said, I can always redo those mobs for fun in this case, because you know, besides the stars, there's not much, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's probably more fun to play uh, a level in which you've unlocked the characters. In this case, not those levels. But when I unlock those characters and I want to level them in a specific level, it's more fun to play in, you know, um, more fun to play those characters in mobs that doesn't for because they'll get frenzy more often which is another uh, another tip uh, the best character the level 3 class character will net you a frenzy more often basically um, or even at all I'm, I'm not entirely sure at this moment uh, to be honest, <laughs> haven't been paying that much attention at uh, the difference between. Oh, there we go. Uh, speaking about uh, the frenzy, oh, totally forgot to be shooting both backwards and front. Uh, I especially like shooting backwards, but the controls are a bit, uh, you know, sketchy. That's uh, probably me at this point, because, uh, I mean, really, the controls in this game are pretty, pretty amazing. Oh no, blue shield! And a frenzy, of course. 
right after the blue shield. But I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I'm uh, I've changed my control scheme, the way I play, a little bit with um, uh, playing with my right thumb on the right side for drifting and steering mostly. And I use the left thumb to uh, spend the frenzy. It's it's really because of the frenzy uh, mostly. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little bit distracted at that moment, making sure I'll get first place. Not sure if I'm uh, playing that tense. Uh, not sure if that's visible in the video, but. Feeling a little bit tense in these uh, mobs. Like, uh, look at this. Look at the 7000 score. That's like overkill for what I need. I should mellow down on playstyle, I think. Gives me more replayability, I guess, if I don't unlock every 5 star. Alright, then again, these kind of uh, challenge unlocks can be a kind of. Kind of you know, um, haunting. The previous round uh, asked about a similar uh, condition. Uh, like most of these, uh, you'll get them eventually, like bob bombs and uh, causing opponents to crash 10 times in a single race. Using driver wearing a tie, you know, you're you're either you're either getting them by luck, eventually. Or you have to grind it, and that means, like for example, I tried it with Toad, but that's not his hat. So a challenge, challenge asking for a character with a hat asks for like Mario or uh, Baby Mario. He counted, he counted too. So I used Baby Mario for the challenge, but he was a low-level character, and you know, gotta find a level with Baby Mario couldn't find a level with baby Mario, so it was not a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, you know, reaching 6,000 uh, points with a level 1 character instead of level 3, because there was no level 4, level 2, and now level 3, baby Mario. But, you know, I managed anyways. It's possible in certain levels, so you gotta find a level where you can reach like 10,000 points every single time. Like, uh, later on, uh, the same levels will be repeated, but with a bunch of uh, ramps placed all over the map. All those extra ramps in certain levels give you so many points and combos that you'll reach uh, combos of over 100 if you're lucky and don't get hit. And, uh, you know, Frenzy helps a lot. In, uh, setting high um, combos and to be honest I totally forgot what the challenge was I expected uh, another similar race um, I guess they won points but yeah like I said uh, I really don't oh totally uh, forgot that there was a flight uh, thing here like the commentary thing is kind of distracting to me. It's uh, it's not something I do a lot, you know. So I I will try to uh, ease more into it in the coming videos, I guess. So yeah, let's see uh, what the challenge actually asks for. Perhaps time because of the time in the top left, but we'll see. Yep, it was time. Well. That's uh, that's good, <laughs> say the least. So yeah, next one. Let's uh, try to uh, speed this up a little bit. So um, I'll pick a few different. Uh, oh yeah, another guide thingy. Um, every item has its own unique bonus and some of them are not that useful to me in my, in my opinion sorry 
Like uh, dash panel boost. I mean, if you do that a lot, then yeah, it can be useful, but I don't do it that much. I try to, but it's, you know, if you're first place, there's not much improvement for uh, points. Uh, more jump boost time and points earned for performing one. No, if there's a mob with a lot of jump boost, that one can help. So yeah, it, it's kind of like that. Uh, I usually try for maximum points. Or leveling so uh, in this case uh, I just want maximum points I want to complete as many levels as possible right uh, right now to unlock more um, uh, to unlock more uh, gifts uh, after each uh, two or three cups or so I'm hoping that guy, there we go, <laughs> exactly what I meant was uh, spawning one of those circular magical things in front of him. Like uh, those things uh, are fun, just like with um, Mario Kama, that uh, fancy Mario character that I unlocked myself. Like uh, his ability to spawn multiple coins all over the place. Is not only beneficial to me, but also to all those other players, even though they're not real players. The game does uh, kind of mimic the feel. They're uh, fun uh, AI characters. I'm sure they're scanning uh, player behavior in some way. I mean, perhaps, uh, perhaps even in uh, in uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch. Hook. Saw so that one coming. Shouldn't have thrown that one, or perhaps I should have. Let's see. It did went uh, back in the opposite direction, and there we go. The other hit. Oh, whoa. <laughs> like, uh, what was I expecting? Uh, no collision there. <laughs> Cost me first place, I mean. <laughs> eh. What you gonna do about it? I bet it's uh, not a five stars anyways. I mean, uh, yeah, easily. Uh, there's only a few uh, hundred point increments. Oh yeah, another uh, detail. <laughs> Those things crop up in this game a lot, so that's why I'm recording one long video instead of, uh, you know, a short video. I mean, there's a lot to cover, including playstyle, um, like uh, dealing with uh, moments later on where you can't compete any further. Uh, Almost uh, halfway to an hour, so gotta watch it up now. Anyways, uh, leveling up your player also gives more points. So, again, you want uh, to get as many presents as you can right now and spend your money wisely, like uh, purchase pipe launches and hope for the best. And uh, try daily characters. If you don't have this character, buy it. If you don't have this character, buy them I mean they're cheap and they will give you a couple of extra stars in this cup or the next cup or the one next uh, you know and those will give you chests more rubies and you can try again for the pipes for more characters until you complete everything that's how it goes but uh, compare that to a game more uh, game like clash or Cla uh, clash of clans that game will cost you like 10,000 euros at least or 12 years of playtime <laughs> those kind of stats last time I checked um, anyways uh, this sample uh, let's go for a low level glider just for leveling because uh, yeah why not we have all the space right now to uh, level our um, Characters, uh, characters, cards, and gliders. Also, try to uh, collect as many coins as possible. 
not only uh, because of um, not only because of the 300 coins daily limit uh, also because every coin counts to your combo and you preferably always want a high combo for the maximum kind of points so try a playstyle where, um, where you're always drifting uh, I guess that's another point that makes this game honestly pretty good is that in uh, the regular Mario Kart the casual players basically never drift you know that's uh, a topic that I haven't seen um, being talked about in this game before but uh, right now we have a very accessible Mario Kart for every age basically everyone has a mobile phone so you know again accessibility oh, don't want to hit that red shell I was getting uh, pretty, clo uh, pretty close because I want to see what it was uh, to be honest Oh, and I want to drop the bananas as quick as possible because we're reaching the finish and once you reach the finish your items don't uh, count anymore so I even see pro, uh, pro players I haven't much many uh, I haven't watched many videos but I've seen pro players that carry their item to the finish and that's that one extra combo point but you know uh, if a pro player is watching right now try that technique I mean uh, if you go for world record and that kind of stuff for me that's a bit you know too much just like uh, reaching level 40 and that kind of stuff I don't play that much I just try to collect my daily XP and uh, I have a desire to complete a tour every cup in the tour everything five stars if possible um, I did not reach five stars in every cup previous round the last cup was a bit too difficult the last cup um, had uh, three and four star scores um, looking for a vehicle for leveling but might as well pick the highest uh, in points. <clears throat> Reach the video file size limit, so hopefully everything will be fine in the, in the final video. And I need to remind me to speed things up a bit, so I'll be. Uh, I'll be trying to skip those uh, intro cutscenes a bit more from now on. Uh, might even speed the video up here and there or cut the video depending on the, how long everything gets. I can see this mob getting uh, kinda hectic later on. Uh, might have held on on the red shield uh, for a little bit longer but yeah anyways uh, there's a, a good focus on the point system in this game and of course as with many things you either like it or you hate it so yeah I mean that's that's a thing if, if you really don't like the point system fair enough you know then this game is probably not for you um, same goes for if you like realistic games and oh boy we're gonna have to uh, ramp things up a little bit I'm not sure if I can reach uh, first place anymore nope not gonna happen almost uh, got hit there all right uh, stuff happens it'll happen eventually any times anyways so <laughs> and yeah like I said uh, the game is pretty mild at this point so uh, no problems there 
and we're through the daily challenges. Four more hours for the next one, so. Oh, oops. I gotta really pay attention. Uh, all right, eight jump boosts. Let's hope uh, it's a, a bit of a long version of this mod. I mean, uh, give them credit where credit uh, applies. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, the tree locks look a little bit different compared to the original mod. I barely saw that they were, you know, this, uh, the same tree locks. So. Let's try to hit as many as uh, uh, as many of those as possible. No rush. Uh, one of those shortcuts, um, and also kind of a thing that I don't like about this game is how you can't go off road at most places. And I mean, uh, collision-wise, it probably helps the game a lot. Um, Gameplay wise, um, yeah, like in mobs like this, no mushroom means I miss a shortcut. Oh, cool. A few hidden coins up there. That's uh, a nice little uh, bonus. I like it. And barely reached it, so we're already reaching a point where the game is getting slowly but sure harder at least for that challenge of course uh, they can't ask for more than what the mob actually offers so there's that um, I re <laughs> actually really want to level that other glider you know so yeah can't do that uh, right now so let's go for safety for points I mean uh, in all honesty I've reached seventh place a couple times and it makes me feel ashamed but you know that kind of luck does happen when you play with uh, randomized items like that and there's that kind of strategy like holding on to the item and you can accidentally drop it both on the console and handheld versions as to this mobile version I mean the, the player input on those items is pretty big and yeah it will net uh, quite some different races every single time especially uh, if the point system and the frenzy uh, like if you unlock a double or triple frenzy in a mo in a, in a single race, um, I don't know if triple is even possible. I believe you can get frenzy one time per lap. Correct me if I'm wrong. Otherwise, that's another guide thingy <laughs> right there. Um, like um, I've been trying to get the most out of Mario Kart so far without playing. 10 hours a day, you know, and without paying a single cent. Um, everyone has the option to use the trial without credit card. So, uh, that's a thing. At least uh, Google Play in my area. I'm assuming that's uh, very similar to most people. And otherwise, uh, the trial will not uh, cost you money until... Um, Oh yes, unless you let it go, um, continue. If you cancel the trial within two weeks, you will not pay a single cent. So please use the two week trial when you are ready. When you have enough characters, when you have enough vehicles and enough gliders, take the two week trial, unlock everything in the tour, all those extra presents, and uh, get ready for the next tour with all your extra rubies and gold. Speaking about presents, there's one waiting for us right now, and even more in the challenges now. 
but I'm actually aiming for the ruby challenges uh, like this. So uh, let's hope for 600 uh, XP and uh, a couple of these. Like uh, level 20, gonna take a while. Reach tier 10, I'll be uh, yeah. I am reach. Uh, I'm in uh, tier 7. Uh, started in tier 1, uh, first place, 20 rubies, um, 1000 coins and all the stuff. Uh, ended in tier 4, first place again, another 20 rubies. Oh, wait. Always accept the gifts first, because those rubies could help if they net you over 45, you know. Uh, I don't have 45 yet right now, but perhaps there's a challenge that will uh, give you a few more coins for opening uh, a present. The present gives a bit gold, so uh, um, let's uh, check the boo again. I am still not at 3000. Uh, I could spend 5 ruby for uh, gold smash, but that will net me 700, still not 3000, so I won't be buying boo right now, but opening the chest brought, brought me closer to that kind of options, you know. Um, I bet I won't be needing that right now, because, you know, uh, right now, no trouble with the stars, not yet. So... Uh, <coughs> Let's uh, let's wait with uh, purchasing the boo until there's another option, you know. <laughs> or you know, uh, you always have an option, but I find 3,000 kind of expensive. I rather pay uh, 500 or 800 per character, perhaps 1,000 if it's a good character. So I'm in a rush. I, uh, I only want to buy the characters that I actually need to finish cups so I can get more stars trying to reach one of those mushrooms and missed it and Warrior took it anyway. So uh, yeah, I tried. Oh, luckily I had my heart there. Um, I'm going to try to hit either Shy Guy or Mario, uh, Wario. And I hit Shy Guy. Uh, luckily they were lined up uh, close to each other. And I'm drifting for nothing there. Alright, uh, no pressure. Like, uh, those kind of play inputs. I noticed uh, there was no item in her hand. Like uh, a banana behind her, so I threw the red, uh, the red shield. Just so I can secure my first place for now. And that kind of thing. Uh, don't want to waste that banana just yet. So yeah, like I said, uh, the game is extremely accessible. I'm mostly playing with one hand and it feels like Mario Kart. Like, that's your, ninja, that's your Nintendo magic right there. Free to play, good graphics. Single handed play feels surprisingly natural and there's 200 play for more pro play I guess uh, throwing items while driving it's it isn't exactly pro play but yeah like um, like I said uh, the, the focus on points and drifting please drift whenever you can uh, that's basically how Mario Kart is supposed to be played and the console versions, like I said before, uh, the console versions don't really push that idea too much. There's not much incentive to play against your own ghost for most people. It's kind of boring, you know, you, you generally have uh, three laps. Another thing, this game has two laps. Uh, it saves a lot of time, it's more portable in that way. Uh, I do wish there was a 3 lap option, but who knows, perhaps in the future, perhaps for multiplayer. 
we'll uh, just have to wait and see. And perhaps uh, if many people want multiple lab options, then uh, you should tell Nintendo, I guess. Use uh, things like Twitter. Companies are uh, generally pretty active when it comes to uh, social media. It's almost as if you're talking to those people themselves. <laughs> Which is the case in my... Uh, yeah, in my case that's what you'll be getting if you talk to one of my social handles. Obviously I'm... Uh, I'm no big corporation or anything. Anyways, um, everything seems to be fine. Uh, we have a uh, we have decent um, I forgot the words for being ahead of them, but uh, yeah, we've got some space between uh, first and second, and even between second and third. The second guy also had some space, so AI wanted him to be the lead. Metal Mario, of course. I've uh, seen Metal Mario in lead uh, multiple times. Is that an, you know, a recurring team for whatever reason? And where's Luigi? Um, I mean, Luigi was supposed to uh, release right here in this uh, tour, I believe. I'm surprised I haven't seen him yet, but perhaps uh, Luigi will be a. Uh, some sort of end boss. Alright, uh, this one uh, is kinda straightforward. Oh, almost uh, drifted too sharply there. So, uh, yeah, gotta pay attention. And that moment right there, I let go of the drift a little bit earlier. Uh, might wanna. Uh, Hurry up uh, a little bit more for the train next time. Perhaps a uh, bigger, bigger turn. But we'll see. Perhaps uh, it's a five or three star um, result. Seems pretty straightforward. Not too hard. Oh, I missed two more. Barely 30. So I guess that's barely three stars. We'll see. Shouldn't have missed uh, Lossy. Uh, there we go. So the game will let you forgive to miss, um, I guess, two rings above those uh, above the train. All right, uh, not a finished cup. But yeah, not too hard. Um, let's see. Let's go for Toad for a little bit of leveling. Like, um, I won't be reaching 300 points anyway, so let's uh, pick a couple uh, with high points at this moment. Just to be on the safe side, you know. I'm gonna make sure we get the stars so we don't have to redo those mobs per se. Like, uh, you might want to redo them to uh, grind some XP daily. Or a mob with a lot of gold. Some mobs uh, will net you like 10, 15 per round. Or um, per, per mob even. It really depends on uh, how you play the mob and uh, the mob itself. Like uh, this one netted me 5 coins in a single lap. Well, in the previous round there was a beautiful Yoshi Island mob which was a bit longer than this mob for example and it netted about 50-60 gold every time so complete that mob uh, like 5-6 times and you will, you will reach your daily gold and of course you want to collect your daily gold with 300 gold a day Two days and you can buy a 500 gold character um, same with uh, like uh, in the meanwhile you'll be unlocking some challenges for like uh, reaching first place 100 times and that kind of stuff so you just save them up and uh, once you have enough oh look at this I totally uh, 
<laughs> I totally forgot uh, we're in a tier right now. So uh, that one was a little bit earlier than expected. And uh, three more rubies, a couple more gold, and a bunch of item tickets. Uh, I sometimes use them, but uh, I don't find them very useful right now. So uh, I like saving them up. Uh, another little flaw of this game at this moment is um, you collect these items and stuff but there's no inventory or something you know um, yeah like uh, in this case I'll redo these levels anyways for the maximum score uh, I want to reach uh, at least 19,000 at this moment to get a head start uh, just in case he gets more points towards the end you know six days so uh, I'll get to use my trial for more presents more characters which gives me more points if I have the right character like those ones you know so that's my target right now because you want the first place gold and uh, reaching tier 10 will give me more bonuses from the challenge so it doesn't matter what I pick right now, I just need the 5 stars for now. So let's go for the scary Bowser thing, what's his name, <laughs> Dry Bowser. Kinda knew it but wasn't sure, I mean similar to Dry Bones. Um, uh, I wanna level my trainee car and... Still that glider, which I don't see uh, right now. So um, let's go for a cheap one, because why not? Like I said, uh, I'll be doing these ones again for maximum uh, tier points. So for the sake of completing the whole tour, we just. I uh, want to reach 5 stars for now. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to uh, be uh, squished by the lag. I uh, was pretty certain I had just enough time. Perhaps uh, it has a little bit bigger collision box on the back side. Than what I was expecting. Saying that's that one. Kinda risky, but well worth it. Uh, things like that, uh, reaching uh, small little details like that will give you just enough, uh, you know, just that little bit extra points. Uh, wanted to drop the shield a little bit earlier than usual. Like, uh, yeah, like the game is lacking an inventory of uh, the kind. The only way really to know how many of those tickets you have, I believe, is like in a race, like up there. Or perhaps the game does show you how many ticks uh, you have, but yeah, it doesn't have a regular um, inventory for that kind of stuff. And another first place with a pretty big, uh, pretty big uh, distance in front of uh, the follower. Bear. Uh, number two position. Kind of surprising with how uh, I was squeezed in the first round. And there we go, 100 jumbos, even more stars, and some more gold. Uh, 
uh, not a nice one. A drive away with horns doesn't happen uh, too often, you know, and it gets harder to get enough points. So I'm happy I've been able to get that one early on. Um, next map. of uh, bumping use there. Alright, uh, I want to hold on to the boombox as long as possible. Unfortunately, no use for it because that's another um, you know, challenge that I've been seeing more than once right now. And uh, yeah, you don't get that um, boombox that often so it can be kind of tedious to uh, unlock that particular challenge um, same goes for the lightning strike uh, challenge I had to I had to force myself uh, to seven and eighth place just to get uh, the lightning strike because uh, yeah you don't get lightning strike when you first place or second or third place and that's what we aim for you want to be first second or third place most of the time while driving like uh, with uh, the head start as Bowser is getting right now and um, banana like that you're really in a safe spot even if we do hit him he still has some room to recover, you know? So, uh, there's some tactic there. I definitely could have done better in this one. And I will, because first place gives more points. Those points are really, really needed to reach uh, first place. I mean, uh, it looks alright right now but we're coming 2200 points short so every one of those cups need to be perfected but I only have the right character right there so uh, oh and uh, we have a dry bowser there uh, because we have every star everywhere and the challenges we already unlocked another chest and the next cup unlocks in two um, stars and we have 45 rubies so we all know what time it is I hope let's purchase some pipe launchers because I'm not uh, concerned about gold right now I'm, I'm certain um, I mean uh, it is a Halloween tour I might want to get the King Bull um, let's double check. We can use him here, I believe. Oh no, this is another King Boo. No shop icon. There's a King Boo here, but we uh, don't really need him after all. So I um, I won't be buying him from the shop, I believe, right now. But I don't have him yet either. So um, we'll see. I'll be saving up for now. There's still four hours left, so who knows? Um, for now, back to the pipe purchase. Let's buy 10 of them and hope for the best. Should be nice to get her because dash ring is a funny and pretty nice uh, power up. So, although funny, it, it's a nice one. I like uh, power ups that you share with all the other players. So. We'll see. Another glider. Uh, not uh, per se bad because you'll level them up to level 3. And look at uh, a challenge for those things. 
Um, so that's uh, something. Uh, plus some levels will ask for this glider. Like uh, a Paper Mario level in the future or whatever, you know. You'll never know, but it's it's no problem to get crappy items, basically. The rubies are free. Um, if you play every day, you'll reach those 45 rubies eventually. Especially if you get first place uh, in those uh, rankings. Alright, uh, kinda cool. I mean, uh, it, it is uh, one of those more special items. Didn't have it yet. But no super fancy item yet. And I don't think we'll be getting one. To be honest. Mostly items that I already had, unfortunately, one new item, so uh, you can't be lucky every time. Like my first one uh, netted me six new characters, and of course I didn't have that many characters yet. I still haven't played with every character, so you know, what do you want? Like, uh, unlock every character on day one. Takes the fun out of the, you know. The length of the game. But uh, I believe we'll be unlocking two new uh, cups right after this one if we reach three stars. And that's another thing. Uh, perhaps. Oh, that's not smart. Uh, perhaps those ones count towards uh, the challenge use. Gonna have to uh, have a look at that one. Oh, sneaky uh, double uh, tower there. I uh, saw so multiple items, but uh, didn't pay too much attention, so I'm not too certain. And yeah, I, I topped the screen, but uh, it didn't. Oh, all right, that's uh, pretty neat. I think I need one more for 40 to get 3 stars, so we'll see. Oh, 45. That's, uh, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. So, uh, no, I don't want a special offer. Alright, uh, I'm gonna have to pay a little bit more attention. Uh, I've played it one. I've played it one time, so that means it's not entirely uh, surprising. They're they're going to stand and uh, things like uh, switching to bombs was a kind of a surprise just now. So um, yeah. This is another thing. Uh, three towers. Uh, I thought it was one. Still driving over them gave the same result. And that's weird. Uh, for some reason, uh, the item went off. So I'm gonna have to pay more attention to that, I guess. And uh, six, uh, 46, not too bad. Gives us uh, just enough to unlock the last star, and that gives us the last star we needed to unlock one more cup over there. <laughs> Funny enough, the previous one has to be finished before you can play. Need 17 stars for this one, um, 15 here, and 3 in the challenge, 18 total, 36. On this one, so we're in the safe. 36 uh, stars will get us there, so yeah, you'll continue that route uh, until you reach the end, which is a lot of cups. So, this video is already one hour 
plus in length so um, I think I'll stop the recording right here and let me know um, yeah like um, shall I continue uh, should I include going for a higher score in a new video or uh, continue all these other cups in the next video because let me know in the comments below subscribe if you want to see more of this or for my own de uh, game development and with that being said um, also ask me whatever you want about the game or anything in the comments down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video whatever it may be all right later <laughs>